Welcome back to This Week in Esports and Gaming for July 12th through the 18th of 2021. I'm your host, Mark High, and let's get right into it. For our first top three story, a bit of a solemn headline to start. T1 COO John Kim passed away on July 7th due to health issues at the age of 41. He had been with T1 since October of 2019 and played an instrumental role in building T1 up. Numerous organizations, esports leagues, and esports personalities paid respect to him online. And LS, one of T1's content creators, shared how much John Kim cared for the T1 staff. John was somewhat of a father figure to me at T1, he states on Twitter. During November, he was constantly around to help me daily to ease the turbulent month and always made himself available. He always stepped in for me without being asked and I considered him a confidant. I was beyond fortunate to have known him. While I don't know John personally, I was covered a countless amount of news that he was involved in and things that he did. So I'd like to pay respect to John and his family with this moment of silence. Thank you. For our second top three story, LeBron James partners with Fortnite. LeBron was integrated to Fortnite with two separate outfits, each equipped with King James's upcoming signature shoe, the Nike LeBron 19. Epic Games also created the King James gear bundle, which features the lion pickaxe, wingspan glider, and LeBron's emphatic on the court celebration, the silencer. This comes timely with the collaboration of the Space Jam, a new legacy promotion, as there's also an integration with LeBron in the Space Jam outfit in Fortnite. I don't even have to tell you how huge this is. LeBron is one of the most known athletes in all of modern sports. People call him the GOAT in NBA and amongst other legends in the sport. It's evident that his family is into gaming as well with Bronny James being a part of FaZe Clan. So LeBron is probably familiar with the game and the esports ecosystem. Just think of all the young and even not so young people who look up to LeBron to see him now in Fortnite. It's a huge money maker for Epic Games, LeBron, and a great potential ad for those normal Fortnite players as well. Netflix is investing big into gaming with the pickup of Mike Verdu as the VP of Game Development. Mike has an impressive background in gaming, having most recently worked for Oculus and was previously the Senior Vice President at E. EA Mobile. Mike has also held executive roles at Atari, Kabam, Zynga, and Legend Entertainment. He will be reporting directly to the COO Greg Peters at Netflix, and according to a person familiar with the matter, the idea is to offer video games on Netflix's streaming platform within the next year. Netflix is also planning to hire more game development positions in the near future and build out the team for Mike. Interesting to note, Netflix says they currently compete with and lose to Fortnite more than to HBO. They're eventually trying to get video games to appear alongside current fare as a new programming genre. I'm going to keep my eyes posted on this. As far as partnerships go, One Esports partnered with Activision Blizzard and Food Panda Thailand. The deal will continue to build and scale Call of Duty's community in Southeast Asia. Details regarding any planned activations have yet to be announced, but they've already worked together to host the One Esports Call of Duty Warzone showdown in May. Tim the Tapman partners with HyperX. Tim will receive the HyperX Heroes treatment, including his own hero illustration inspired by his gaming persona. He joins a lineup of internationally recognized talent on HyperX's roster, including Juju Smith-Schuster and Gordon Hayward, along with others. Rec Global partnered with data marketing platform Pico Get Personal. The two parties will collaborate to provide Rec Global's partners with the first party data on who is viewing live streams and alongside who is seeing a live stream. They'll also get data on their location, age, gender, and more. Gen.G partners with Galerant. The partnership will see both entities team up to create VCT Game Changers Academy tournaments, a series of competitions throughout 2021 that will help foster and grow the Valorant women's competitive scene. Tribe Gaming partnered with Elgato. The deal will see the brand become the official content creation partner of Tribe Gaming. Elgato will equip Tribe Gaming representatives with a range of its products, which comes timely after Elgato recently revealed a huge suite of new products earlier this week. Toronto Ultra partnered with Bud Light and Crave Meals. The first partnership with Bud Light will focus on the content creation of custom content, including a player-focused social media campaign and collaborations between fans and players. The player-focused social media campaign is expected to encourage Toronto Ultra players to give hot takes on a variety of topics within the Call of Duty community. For the second partnership, Crave Meals will become the official meal partner of Overactive Media-owned franchise, and Crave Meals logos will be featured on Toronto Ultra's in-game skins for the CEL playoffs, as well as their physical jerseys. The Minnesota Rocker partnered with USAA and Waconia Brewing Company. For the first partnership, USAA and Rocker will partner to launch Rocker Regiment, a Call of Duty-centered program designed to support and engage military members and veterans. The program will look to provide exclusive offerings and unique experiences with more details to come. And for the second partnership, the two parties will join forces to launch a blonde ale called Final Circle. To celebrate the launch of Final Circle, a party hosted by the Up Down Arcade Bar in Minneapolis will be open to all above the age of 21. For finance and M&A, GameScore Esports acquiring market age agency Cut, Sew, and Zone for $7.85 million. GameScore Esports will look to benefit from Cut, and Sew, and Zone's marketing services, as well as being able to target new sectors. Some expansion options mentioned in the announcement include traditional sports, gaming, emerging technology, new media, music, and fashion.
Genvid raises $113 million in its Series C. Founded in 2016, the New York-based tech firm has now raised $166 million total and will use the capital to establish Genvid Entertainment, a new publishing subsidiary dedicated to producing massive interactive live events. Swedish developer Resolution Games raises $25 million in its Series C. This now brings the total amount of capital raised to $38.5 million, one of the largest funding rounds by a studio that has developed VR and AR mobile titles. Pipeline raises $2 million in its seed round. The investment is intended to grow its business on training folks to become professional streamers and content creators with founders Steven Ellis and David Steinberg leading Pipeline for 50,000 streamers today. As far as workforce changes go, Jeff Chow joins TSM FTX as the director of mobile. Jeff, who's worked alongside TSM FTX as a strategic advisor for the past few months, officially joins the company in this new role as the organization looks to push its mobile esports plans. Jeff is a veteran in the mobile esports space, playing roles at Hammers Esports, Team Liquid, Immortals, and Apple in the past. Billy Davis joins Order as a creative ambassador. Davis will play a key role in activations and collaborations for the organization to help unite music, gaming, and fashion. Sue Lee, formerly an account director for Strategic Partnerships, and David Hampain, formerly a senior director of Global Integrated Marketing, have announced their departures from Twitch. Sue had spent over six years at Twitch, starting as a merchandise partnerships associate and moving all the way up to a director role. David had spent three years at Twitch, starting as a senior manager of Integrated Marketing and ultimately finishing as a senior director of Global Integrated Marketing. Neither have revealed their next steps yet. Mike Ashford is promoted to the CEO of the Esports Awards. Mike has been with the Esports Awards for nearly five years at this point, starting as a marketing director and moving all the way up to CEO. Mike has played a tremendous role in putting Esports Awards to the statue it has in the esports space currently, and it'll be exciting for him to oversee all aspects of the Esports Awards moving forward. Hubert Larinati joins Homa Games as the Senior Strategic Advisor. Hubert will advise on strategic projects and investments with a special focus on developing the Asian market. In the past, Hubert has been in leadership roles with game companies like Activision Blizzard, EA, and Take-Two as the President and COO for those companies. He was also keen developing Unity's APAC market, turning it into one of the most significant regions for the company in terms of revenue and market share. As far as new stuff goes, PUBG Mobile revealed a $3 million charity tournament. The event will have 32 teams being split into two tournaments, PMWI East and PMWI West, with the winner of each receiving $1.5 million for Gamers Without Borders. That's it for this week in esports and gaming. Credit to all the esports orgs and the authors for providing the images and press releases. If you know someone who would provide this valuable, I would appreciate you tagging them down below and have a great day, everybody.